soon as the patient arrives at the emergency room with the complaint of chest pain, uh, we have an expedited protocol and pathways in place. The patient is immediately taken to a special room and a doctor immediately sees the patient. And our benchmark is the international benchmark of obtaining an electrocardiogram within 10 minutes of arrival. And as soon as the diagnosis is confirmed, then the cath lab is activated. The patient arrives in the cath lab, is taken immediately to the lab, and we start the procedure. We puncture the artery, get what we call access into the artery, and put a sheath, which is a tube we put into the artery. And then through that tube, we advance it longer tube called catheter which goes into the heart under x-ray control and then we take pictures to see where the problem is, identify the location of the blockage in the artery and then we open it with the various equipment that we have. latest technologies of the catheters, wire, balloons, drug coated stents and we have availability of intravascular ultrasound, the special wires to check pressures inside the arteries. If the patient is in shock we have what we call intraortic balloon pump where we can support the heart while we are trying to help the patient overcome the acute difficulty. The time is critically important. The longer you take to open a closed artery, the more damage is occurring to the heart muscle. Try to open the closed artery within 90 minutes of their arrival to the emergency room. The symptoms of heart attack are mainly chest, in the middle of the chest, tightness, pressure, pain, which sometimes radiates into the arms or to the neck, associated with the shortness of breath, nausea, vomiting, diaphoresis, sweating, those are the classic symptoms of heart attack. So if somebody starts having these kind of symptoms, then they should immediately seek medical attention. My name is uh, Dr. Nasiruddin Jamal. I'm an interventional cardiologist from New York, here at Aga Khan Hospital, Dar es Salaam.